Hello and welcome to day four of the podcasting challenge. And uh, now it is time for an exciting and sometimes nerve wracking moment. It is time to actually go out and record your very first episode. But before we do, let's do a quick recap of where we are so far. You've come in and you created a solid foundation for your podcasting business. You went through and figured out what equipment is going to work best for you, and you figured out how you can stand out with your branding and your artwork and imagery around your podcast. So now it is time to actually dive in there and create that very first episode to actually go out and record your podcast episode. And really, this is all about getting started and actually making sure to take that leap. This is sometimes where we, we can often see people hesitate because they might be a little nervous, might be a little scared, but actually putting their voice out there into the podcasting world, into the world in general, and uh, have, feeling maybe a little judged by people by doing that. I know I, I definitely let it let some of this hold me back with podcasting, with Facebook Lives, with just being on video in general, but it's important that you actually take that first step and start really just kind of building that momentum and building that confidence because really the more you podcast, the more you record, the more comfortable you're gonna be, the more confident you're gonna be in your message in just getting in front of that microphone and really delivering that message out to the world. So I wanna quick break down the three main elements of uh, recording, and that's gonna be the pre-recording, the recording, and then after recording. And we're gonna really talk about these three elements and kind of help you get set up to actually record your very first episode. So now when we talk about the prep work before recording, really what I want you to do is, first of all, sit down and plan what the content is gonna be, what you're actually gonna talk about. Go through and actually outline each of your podcast episodes. I really recommend you actually go and do that, not, not to the point where you're actually writing out scripts or anything. I want you to actually go through and outline your podcast. I actually still do that for everything. For this video, I have recorded or uh, outline out there, just a very quick one that I can kind of run through. Um, and I like to do this for Facebook Lives, for uh, podcast recordings, for videos, for everything, just because it makes helps you stay on track and make sure you cover the points that you need to cover and just not feel lost and extra nervous. It helps get some of those nerves, push past some of those nerves, because to be honest, if you are not used to be in front of a camera, not used to be in front of a microphone, Simply those nerves that if you're unsure about what you're actually going to be talking about, that can be enough to hold you back, to keep you from hitting that record button. Plus, if you don't have that plan, don't have that kind of track to run on, it can often, you can ramble, you can go off on little tangents. Uh, I even tend to do that sometimes, even with that outline and, and that track to kind of run on. So we want to make sure that you have some sort of outline to actually follow. And I, in the worksheet, along with this challenge, today's challenge, I'm going to actually include a couple different templates that I use for uh, solo episodes. But when we're talking about your very first episode, your initial episode for your podcast, there are a few things that I really want you to cover. This is gonna be kind of a unique one compared to some of the other episodes. You want to really talk about who you are, you wanna talk about why you're talking about your podcasting topic, and then what people can expect moving forward. So really these three things. And the reason you want to do this is because this is going to be that very first podcast episode. And as even as you get more and more podcast episodes, as you're up to episode 100, maybe even 200, 300, your very first episode is going to be one of the most listened to episodes. And I don't say that to just scare you or, or to hold you off or anything like that. It's perfectly fine to actually go out there and create the podcast episode right away uh, at the get-go. But what you want to realize is that people are gonna be jumping back to that episode to figure out where you started, to figure out who you are, why you're talking about this, and what to really expect from the podcast. So lay out those three things in that initial episode. And again, I will give you a few template options to kind of give you an idea of what a solo podcast episode should really look like. The next part of your prep work, you're gonna actually wanna go through and do a sound check. Make sure that things are gonna actually sound good. So uh, there's going to be a couple different things. If you are in studio, you're going to want to try and have everything as quiet as possible uh, around you, you know, especially in the room you're recording, but even uh, outside the room, depending on how thick your walls are and what else is going on. For example, I like to always make sure that the air conditioner or heater is off. You don't want that uh, extra noise kind of there. And just try and find a very quiet spot or as quiet as you can, uh, because that's going to help you get the best in studio type of sound where it's just picking up your voice and not really any background static. Now, if you're on location, 
uh, what you're doing there might actually be slightly different. You might be perfectly fine with having it. If you're on location, like say at a conference or a live event, and you mention that you're at this live event, actually having some of that background noise of people is going to be okay. It's gonna be perfectly fine. But what you might wanna do is actually test it out uh, test out the recording, you know, do a trial recording just to make sure that it's not too much background noise. Because you, if you, things are too loud in the background, people are chatting too much, uh, that can really distract and even draw away uh, from your main content. So you want to actually test out any background noise that you might have when you're doing an on-location spot. And then really what you want to try and do with your sound levels is get them to as close to that, as high as they possibly can be without peaking. So without hitting that actual red line. Uh, if you have a digital, a digital recorder or if you're recording on your computer, you can kind of see where those peak marks are. You wanna be close to that, uh, but you never want to actually peak or go over it because then that really distorts your sound. So as long as you're getting as much volume as you possibly can without peaking, you're gonna be perfect. And the final piece of our pre-recording is to actually get focused. You want to really kind of zone in and make sure you're focused and full of energy. You know, jump up and down if you need to, do a little power move or whatever it may be to actually help you get into that zone and really focus in and be super present for when you're delivering your content, whether that's an interview or whether that's, you know, just you creating solo content. You know, so you might want to stand up. I like to record actually at my standing desk because it has a little extra energy. Um, or maybe you're, like I said, maybe you're jumping up and down, doing a little power move, a little power move to get you in the right state. Whatever it may be, you want to make sure. Maybe you're blaring, you know, "Eye of the Tiger" or some some sort of song that helps get you ready. Do whatever you need to do to get pumped up and get zeroed in, because that extra energy is going to be super important when delivering your content. Because uh, without that energy, especially in audio format people can disconnect from it a little bit. So you wanna make sure you have enough energy there uh, that people are actually engaged with what you're creating. The next piece is gonna actually be the recording process while after you hit that record button, uh, when you're delivering your content. You wanna to work to do your best to be relaxed and just enjoy the actual process. That's actually gonna help you create the most engaging content is when you yourself are, are in a place where you're relaxed, where you're comfortable, and you actually are enjoying the recording and not super tense and all nervous and all scared. You just wanna kind of let that naturally flow from you and just try and stay relaxed, take big deep breaths if you need to, especially before you hit the record button or even during if you need to occasionally, if you feel yourself getting nervous, just kind of take a moment, breathe, even pause. You can actually, you don't need to talk 100 miles an hour in order to keep things engaging and in order to keep people connected. You can actually slow down, take a breath, and just really enjoy the recording process is what, is what your main focus should be. The next thing you're gonna wanna try and do while, t while recording is to actually smile. Um, the, way you, the way you sound, the way your voice comes across, the energy that you have is very different when you're actually smiling than when you're frowning or when you're you know, just kind of keeping a straight, sullen face. So the more you can actually smile during the recording process, the better. So do your best to try and keep that smile there to try because it's just gonna liven up your voice and the, just the entire add our content that you're bringing. It's gonna add more life to it, more energy, and that's exactly what you want with your podcast recording. And the final piece is to just keep going. You're, it's likely you're gonna make some mistakes, you're gonna have some ums, uh, but really I want you to focus on as much as possible to think of this as live. Think of this as live to tape. So you're just kind of going and there's no edits that are happening, you're not stopping and restarting. Obviously, especially if you're not doing any sort of live streaming of this, you know that you can go back, you can edit things out. But for the most part, I want you to kind of put that off into your editor mind and you'll actually be using that later. Um, but really go through and just deliver amazing content, deliver content. If you mess up, just keep going, kind of roll with the punches. Uh, if you have a big mess up, you can always go back and edit that piece out later, but for the most part, try and just let it flow. That's gonna deliver you the most powerful podcast. Uh, Cause really podcasting's, uh, podcasts are a little more uh, a little more casual, a little more unprofessional, un not necessarily unprofessional, but a little more unpolished. People aren't, 
the better podcasts aren't going through and actually, the podcasts that really connect with people aren't podcasts where the, the producer went back through and edited out every single um. People want to see the human side of you. And humans, when they naturally talk, they say um, they say ah, they have pauses, they stumble, they stutter. So it's okay. As long as it's not overly distracting, like not, if you're not, as long as you're not saying um every other word or every other sentence, uh, just leave it in there and just go with it. Keep flowing with the podcast. Just keep rolling. And now on to the after piece of a recording. Once you hit stop on the recorder, uh, there are still a few things that you need to do, especially with this first one. And the first big thing you need to do is to actually go through and say hey, there are some edit notes, maybe Skype disconnected, or maybe something happened in your recording process where there's some edits that need to happen. I highly recommend taking some notes in some sort of like editorial document. Ideally, if you can get timestamps, awesome, but if not, just kind of make note that there is an edit that needs to be made in this recording that will significantly help you later down the road when you're actually in the editing process, especially if you like to do batch recordings, which I actually recommend that you kind of look at down the road is actually creating, say, eight episodes in one day in kind of one sitting. Uh, don't worry about that right now. Just stick to the first episode. Um, but getting in the habit of taking editorial notes of some sort will definitely help you out. Um, also, if you remember them, if you want to, if you're to help speed things up, you can take notes on maybe any resources that were mentioned, uh, like any show that need to be added to the show notes. So any URLs or things like that, that's also a great time to do that. Um, or you can actually go back through later on. Uh, for example, we have someone who goes through and listens to everything, trying to create the show notes just from there. So we don't have to worry about that right after the recording. But if you don't have that person, that might be a great time for you to actually go through and do that because it's gonna be fresh on your mind. You're gonna know exactly what you've talked about. The other thing you might wanna do right after, say, doing an interview with someone is to actually go through and record the intro and the outro. Uh, if you wanna set up that interview or if you wanna um, add some extra feedback and kind of close it out, that is a great thing to do right after the recording of the interview because it's fresh on your mind, you know what you talked about, and you don't, won't have to go back through or look at any notes. You can just jump on in and record those intros and outros. So those are, that's something I recommend you do right after hitting the stop button on your initial recording. The next thing you're gonna wanna do, and this is something, please make sure you do this one. This is not an optional one. I highly, 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 highly recommend that you make sure you save the recording. Uh, don't just leave it on your digital audio recorder. Don't just leave it on uh, open on your desktop or leave it in the camera or anything like that or even leave it on your phone. I highly recommend that one, you make sure you save it in some fashion and two, I recommend that you have some sort of backup of the recording. For me, that is simply adding it to Dropbox because Dropbox uh, actually will create for, with the business account I have, it'll allow me to go back and get versions if they happen to get deleted or anything like that. So be sure you have some sort of backup form uh, so it's not just sitting on a digital audio recorder or just sitting in GarageBand or wherever, but have some sort of backup file uh, for that recording because trust me, you don't wanna have that feeling of where you recorded an awesome episode and then uh, all of a sudden your computer crashes or you, uh, accidentally reformat your digital audio recorder and everything is gone. Uh, so be sure to have some sort of backup. And I actually will, that's the thing, I do not, uh, will not leave the office until that is file is finished uploading so I know it's up there uh, and I know everything is backed up the way it should be. And then the third and final thing that I really want you to do, especially after this very first recording, is to go celebrate. You know, grab, uh, grab some bourbon, a glass of bourbon, grab some chocolate, or blare your favorite dance music, whatever it might be, find some way to celebrate because you just recorded your very first podcast episode. Now, I'm not recommending that you grab a, a glass of scotch every, every, every single podcast recording, but this is your first one. This took some courage, it took some guts to actually go out there, and you made great progress just getting that first recording done. So be sure to celebrate that small win. It's something that a lot of entrepreneurs 
don't do enough of. We get so achievement minded that we skip over the celebration piece. And it's that celebration piece that helps build confidence. It's that celebration piece that helps build that momentum and keep you moving forward. So be sure to go celebrate. And then once you do, go into the Facebook group, find the post for today, and let us know that yes, I recorded my very first episode. I definitely wanna hear from you. So that is your task for day four. Go record your first podcast and then let us know in the Facebook group, just letting us know, yes, I got my first episode done.